Fanbot, do you notice anything unusual about the ship today? Negative. All systems are fully operational. Professor. You sure? Something seems off. I could run a full ship level 1 diagnostic, but it would take several hours to complete. Do that. If you find anything, no matter how small, inform me immediately. Acknowledged, Professor. Okay, beam me home and remember, inform me the moment you find anything. I'll keep you informed. Transporting now. Hi there, Professor. What are you working on? Just catching up on all the gaming news I've missed. What are you up to? I just got home from visiting Mom. So what sort of news are you looking at? All the news from CES and the Nintendo Switch event. That happened already? I knew I missed it. So... what do you think about it? I think Nintendo could do better. Not that it's bad, but I was expecting more given how poorly the Wii U is doing. Like... what exactly? They're smart making the new Zelda a launch title. But other than that, the launch lineup is rather tiny. There was also the lack of details about the paid online service. Paid? Like PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live Gold? Exactly like that. All you get is a voice chat phone app, the ability to play online, and free access to a NES or Super NES game for one month. Wait, that's it? Like seriously? Other than exclusive eShop deals, yeah, that's it. And they're using a phone app for voice chat? There is already confusion brewing over that one. Some people are thinking the phone app is the online service. Ugh, this sounds like the Wii U all over again. I know, they really need to clarify this. They really need to work on communicating things to people. Other than that, the rest look fine. Well, let's hope this machine does better than their last console. It has potential, as long as Nintendo doesn't fumble it. A new open world Mario game is coming at the end of the year. Switch is also getting a new Shin Megami Tensei game, a new Fire Emblem game, several Dragon Quest games, and a new IP from Square Enix. Well, that sounds promising. Anything else? Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8 with new racers and tracks, and possibly a new F-Zero. I loved F-Zero on the Super NES. Someone in class said there was going to be a Pokemon game on the Switch. Any news about that? There is one coming, but Nintendo didn't mention it at the press event. That was a lost opportunity. What else can you tell me about it? The battery life is what most people were expecting. Not great, but not terrible either. The Joy-Cons have motion sensors and haptic feedback, which they call Rumble HD. Uh-oh, let me guess, they've got motion control games. Only two so far. A party game called 1-2-Switch and a fighting game called ARMS. You'll be happy to hear that ARMS can be played without the motion controls. Don't get me wrong, Professor. It's not like I hate motion controls. It's that Wii Motion Plus was terrible. It made playing Skyward Sword almost impossible. I can only hope they've learned from that mistake. This thing is also portable. Please tell me it has a touchscreen. It does, but Nintendo hasn't shown off anything that uses it yet. It can also do HD, right? Yes, 1080p, 60 frames per second to docked, and 720p undocked. Better than I expected, what's on the inside powering the system? No specs were announced, not at the event. A press release says it has 32 gigs of storage and an SD card slot. 
How big an SD card? 256 gig or larger. In the first trailer, it was running Skyrim. What about that? Oh yeah, almost forgot. Todd Howard himself announced Skyrim for the Switch, but he didn't say if it was the Special Edition version or not. Visually, it looked like the Special Edition, but since the Switch only has 32 gigabytes of internal storage, it might not have mod support, or the game might require an SD card. I guess we'll learn more at GDC or E3. Well, it could be worse. Oh? It could be getting limited mods like the PlayStation 4 version. That's a possibility, but we'll likely know more once GDC rolls around. Hopefully. That's better than no mods, I guess. So, when is this thing coming out? March 3rd of this year, and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will be a launch title. Yeah, not bad. Could be better, but not bad. Well, we have a whole month to go, so more details could emerge before launch. Wait, region locking. Tell me they're getting rid of region locking. Yes, they got rid of region locking. Thank goodness for small miracles. <laughs> Status update. Level 1 diagnostic complete. Unknown anomaly detected in cognitive matrix. Attention, Professor. I've found something. Well, I'm no one.